name is again uh, Georgi Chaltikan. I'm professor uh, of digital health at uh, Degendorf Institute of Technology. We are based at the European campus Rot Tallinn, which is uh, sort of an international branch of our institute offering study programs in English. And I am the head of the program Masters of Digital Health. And I'm going to tell you now more about this program. But first, we will need to define what is digital health. It is the field of knowledge and practice, which is associated with any aspect of adopting digital technologies to improve health from inception to operation. This is the definition by the World Health Organization. And uh, digital health is a broad umbrella term that covers all use of modern information communication technologies in medicine and healthcare. There's a number of subdomains uh, in digital health that we define. Those are digital health records, health information systems, and health information exchange, telehealth, telemedicine, and virtual visits, mobile health and digital therapeutics, digital imaging, image analysis, as well as the so-called digital reality technologies or virtual augmented mixed reality and robotics in medicine, sensors, wearables, remote patient monitoring, and the so-called ambient assisted living, health data analytics and artificial intelligence, and last but certainly not least, the biomarkers, omics, and the so-called precision medicine. So as you can see, the scope of digital health is quite wide. Why digital health uh, has become such an important domain of study and uh, research and practice because of the many challenges that uh, modern healthcare services are facing, such as aging population, uh, the elderly people living with uh, one or even several chronic diseases that have to be managed by the health systems, as well as epidemics, public health emergencies, such as the pandemic of COVID-19 that we are all living through already two years, the growing healthcare expenses, the shortage of the healthcare uh, workforce, and the growing expectations of informed citizens. All of that makes digital health really one of the hotspots currently, hotspots of policy, practice, research and innovation worldwide and it is considered by many that digital health is going to really revolutionize not only the healthcare but also revolutionize uh, the entire society the humankind and the biosphere and that is why we expect and we know that there will be tens of thousands of new jobs related to digital health in the years to come so it is an absolutely relevant and important topic to study to work with uh, and it is uh, becoming uh, more and more relevant and uh, very important here in Germany as well. And to illustrate that, I would like to just share with you this information that in the past uh, um, three years or so, uh, the parliament of the Federal Republic of Germany has passed uh, 28 um, new legislations, 28 new laws with some relation to digital health, including six laws that are exclusively dedicated to digital health. And among those laws are uh, uh, such a uh, law as the, uh, the so-called KHZG, Krankenhaus Zukunftsgesetz, or the Future Hospital Law, that is going to invest more than 4.3 billion euros in digitalizing uh, hospitals in Germany, or uh, the so-called DVG, Digitale Versorgungsgesetz, that is a unique law, unique uh, uh, in Europe and elsewhere, which is uh, uh, one of the first legislative uh, acts that is going to um, provide a framework for prescribable and reimbursable um, uh, digital applications, uh, the so-called DIGAS. And we know that telemedicine has um, become um, super important, especially with the beginning of the pandemic. Uh, we can have a look at this figure, for example, the uptake of virtual visits or the so-called video as we call that here in Germany, that have grown 
as you can see here, this is 1,370% since the beginning of the pandemic in 2019, there were only 168 practices in Germany that provided an opportunity for patients to connect with their doctors virtually. And in 2020, there were already more than 30,000 such doctors and practices. So all of that speaks of an absolute explosive growth in uh, digital health uh, services, applications, uh, as well as, of course, the um, uh, jobs job positions in digital health. So some of the uh, important subdomains of digital health that I've mentioned earlier are, let's say, mobile health and uh, the so-called digital therapeutics or digital health applications. Uh, there are already more than 350,000 health apps worldwide. And we know that there are more than 200 apps being added each day. So this is a growing, uh, growing area. Another important area is the connected health with different wearable sensors or smart clothes or ingestible in the future also injectable sensors and nanosensors that are going to be collecting patients data and all that data, the enormous amount of digital data that uh, health systems will have to make sense out of and to integrate in providing better care. So eventually all of that will be done, of course, with the use of artificial technology algorithms. AI in healthcare is uh, uh, one of the important, one of the perhaps uh, very exciting or most exciting subdomains in digital health. And uh, all that and more is being taught through this study program. Study program, Master of Digital Health, it is, it is an MSc study program, Master of Science, that uh, features uh, strong uh, digital health management and research components, but at the same time is also very practice oriented. And we indeed prepare our graduates for taking over leadership positions in uh, digital health. Uh, in order to support and to drive digital transformation of healthcare, both in Germany and uh, worldwide in other countries. The study program runs for three semesters for one and a half years uh, to a total of 90 uh, European credit points. The enrollment uh, is uh, done uh, once per year. We begin in October. Uh, the study is very strongly features very strong interdisciplinarity. Uh, it is at the, um, at the interface between healthcare and technology. And our study program is also very international. We already have students coming from more than 19 nations on our campus and more than 100 nations uh, at the Degendorf Institute of Technology. The program features a balanced mix of lectures and seminars that can be conducted in hybrid or online uh, scenarios, as of course, during the lockdowns in the past uh, a few uh, semesters during the pandemic, uh, as well as uh, uh, case studies, lab training, and project-based training. And we also offer a number of complementary activities, such as participation in conferences, and meetings, or field visits to healthcare facilities and digital health companies that uh, have been an uh, important part of this program or had been before the pandemic um, began. And of course, we will be resuming such activities um, as, as soon as the pandemic subsides. Um, perhaps most importantly, through our connections and uh, networking with international academics and with our colleagues around the world, we provide our students and our graduates with uh, exposure to uh, a global digital health community because we um, invite uh, internationally renowned academics as guest lectures. We conduct regularly seminars and workshops, not only by us, the local faculty, the local teaching staff, but also by many recognized experts from around the world. And of course, we have state-of-the-art facilities, the DigiHealth Lab, uh, 
uh, with uh, quite a lot of devices and software that uh, our students can use not only for teaching and training, uh, learning digital health, but also for research and development, and certainly very professional and super friendly staff. Um, the entry requirements for this program are a bachelor degree in any, either any health science discipline, discipline such as medicine, dentistry, pharmacy, public health or healthcare administration, or any computer science, information science, data science discipline, such as software development, business informatics, or others. And of course, the requirement is an excellent knowledge of English. So the students first go through the foundations course that provides either fundamentals of medicine to students coming from tech uh, background, from tech bachelors, or fundamentals of computer science to students coming from medical, biomedical, and health background. And then the students learn the following uh, modules in relation to healthcare, you know, such as international and global health, um, health uh, uh, legislation, law and ethics in digital health, or health economy and management. They learn fundamentals, technology, applications, and information systems in digital health, as well as data security and data protection. Uh, they, uh, they learn, of course, the uh, current approaches to health research, including biomedical statistics. And uh, very important are also uh, the uh, additional skills, uh, but important skills such as intercultural, intercultural and uh, interdisciplinary and scientific communication and management. Now, important is uh, that in the uh, second semester, in the summer semester, uh, the students also select two of out of four possible specializations in digital health. They can be specialized as either digital health uh, program, uh, project, or product managers. So go in through the digital health management track or they can specialize as digital health data scientists, including artificial intelligence or digital health software engineers. And the program the, uh, ends, of course, with a master's thesis that can be done either at our school or frequently also with our collaborating institutions, including the different digital health companies. The career prospects, as we already hopefully understood in digital health, are many and are indeed brilliant. It's it's a super, as I always say, future proof, future proof uh, specialty because, um, as we already figured out, there will be many many uh, opportunities uh, for uh, to work to conduct research and development. Uh, we are right now. We are. I often say in infancy of digital health. So there are many, many more things to come in the years and decades ahead. Our graduates, they work in, uh, in various, uh, various institutions and organizations, starting from um, hospital IT units in different digital health uh, businesses, such as uh, medical software development or in health data analytics or health data security. And uh, some of them um, uh, go through project management or product development paths in different digital health groups, organizations and institutions, or find themselves in research and development, including academia. And as we, as I've already mentioned, we always stress that our graduates are indeed expected to drive innovation and leadership in digital health. This is our teaching staff. We have uh, tenured professors, uh, such as uh, Professor Berle, Professor Gehr, Professor cummings or Professor Spittler, who is going to talk to you later on, uh, as well as uh, teachers, uh, contracted uh, uh, lecturers, and uh, uh, research associates. So it's a, it's a, a, a quite diverse and uh, very professional team. Uh, we are also uh, collaborating with our international partners, international um, uh, colleagues, including Professor Kalra, who is one of the leading um, specialists in uh, digital health and medical and health informatics uh, from UK, from Imperial uh, University College London. And there are also colleagues from Croatia, from United States, from Greece, from Brazil, basically from almost 
all over the world. Uh, as well, I mentioned earlier that we provide perfect opportunities for our students to engage with international community. You can see the very impressive uh, list of our global partners, uh, as well as our academia partners. So most notably, the European campus and the Degendorf Institute of Technology is an institutional partner, institutional cooperation partner, and an institutional member to such global leading organizations related to digital health as, for example, HIMS, uh, Healthcare Information Management Systems Society. That's a, it's a global society with uh, more than uh, several hundred thousand members, all of them in health information management and in digital health, or the International Society for Telemedicine and Health, International Medical Informatics Association, European Federation for Medical Informatics, uh, as well as Bavarian and uh, German partners. So this is again to illustrate that uh, being a student at Eggendorf Institute of Technology indeed puts you in the center in the in the uh, in the uh, in, in the global digital health uh, community and provides um, unparalleled opportunities for networking for learning and uh, communicating with other academics. Uh, this is a glimpse of our DigiHealth uh, lab with students uh, conducting uh, research and training on digital health applications, uh, a visit to, uh, for example, a large tertiary care hospital, such as um, University Medical Center in Regensburg, attending the Congress. This is our team of students, for example, attending before pandemic, of course, uh, and we're going to attend it this year as well. The, the DMEA, DMEA, which is the largest digital health congress and uh, exposition uh, in Europe, taking place annually in Berlin. Uh, this is one of our um, virtual lectures by a, a US-based um, colleague. So really uh, many uh, opportunities for networking, for research, and for learning. That was all basically about our study program and uh, thank you for following it and uh, I'm open also for questions and of course you know that uh, there can be uh, there is a lot of opportunities for asking questions also through chat. Thank you very much Georgi back to you.